Hi guys, this is Serge from Montreal. Welcome to my uh, Paul McCartney update video. Like I promised, I wanted to show you uh, the new uh, records or albums that I bought <coughs> recently, maybe a month or two ago. Uh, I, have, I have a lot to show, so uh, I'm not going to talk too much uh, for uh, every album that I bought. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, I uh, stopped uh, buying uh, McCartney's album in, in the 80s. Uh, I think uh, the last uh, one I bought was uh, this one, give my regard, regards to Bradstreet. Uh, I have to tell you that I'm on uh, Paul McCartney's uh, official website. So this is the last one that I bought in the 80s. And then I bought uh, Flowers in the Dirt. Uh, on CD. That's about it. I don't know why. Maybe I lost interest in in his music. I remember I bought the uh, the single "Spies Like Us" and I didn't like it. So I, I st and then after that I stopped uh, listening to Paul McCartney's new music. So all of the albums and uh, CD that I bought recently, it was uh, all uh, new music to me. Because I don't really uh, listen to radio, so I don't know uh, what songs uh, were playing on the radio. <clears throat> uh, what else uh, did I want to say? So uh, the, these are uh, albums that I bought uh, recently. Some of them I couldn't buy them uh, on vinyl because they're too expensive. I saw, I saw records uh, selling for more than two hundred bucks. So I was not going to pay that much, and even some CDs were uh, too expensive, so uh, some of the albums that I couldn't buy on uh, on vinyl or on CD, I bought them on iTunes. So eventually I'm going to make a CD out of it. So let's start <clears throat> with uh, the first one that I just recently bought, The Family Weight. It's a... Uh, 1967 movie I think it's the soundtrack of the movie that he did while he was uh, still with the Beatles it's good music it's not uh, extraordinary but it's uh, good music I, uh, I've listened to all the record or uh, CD that I'm gonna show but only once so I'm not very very familiar with uh, what's in it so uh, that's the first one that I have to show you. Then this one, Thrillington. It's uh, the it's the the album Ram instrumental, but it's not the instrumental that it took from uh, the actual uh, record. It's a uh, more Muzak kind of uh, music. Uh, this record came out in 77 on vinyl, but it didn't have any uh, success because Paul McCartney's name was not on it. This one is a 2005 reissue on CD, I think. <clears throat> and, and now it's a part of the RAM box set. If you buy the, the, the box set, it's a separate CD that comes with it. I gotta check on my... Uh, iPad for uh, the exact uh, chronological order. So this one and then the next one. This is on the vinyl this time. Press to play. Gatefold. This this one it's a uh, Holland pressings that I bought from a seller in Germany, I think. It's not that bad like people say usually say it's it's just it's just good. Then you got uh, all the best which I said uh, that I already have. I have it on CD and on vinyl. Then I bought this one, the Russian album, Choba P C C C P. This one, it's a Russian copy. It's a, everything. It's written in uh, Russia, Russian. It's from 1986 or 88, I think it is. 
is its own uh, standards. It's good, if I remember. Then it's uh, Flowers in the Dirt, which I have it on the CD. But I have the the version with the French song on it, Où est le soleil, which is a song that I like. But now it's uh, it's not on the, the new reissue, or uh, even on iTunes, it's not even uh, available anymore. Then you got uh, Live Album, Tripping the Live Fantastics. Fantastic. <clears throat> it's a three uh, album set. Live uh, shows. It's a uh, well, it's a two, two two CD set, but it's a triple uh, vinyl. Okay. Uh, I couldn't buy this one. It was too expensive again, so I bought the CD. I'm not uh, very fan of uh, live uh, live albums, but it's a, it's a good one. Then you got uh, Paul McCartney unplugged, the official bootleg. Again, standards. Uh, forgive me if I don't give you the the year of it, because I don't remember everything. This one says '91. Another live album. Then. He did some classical music. This one, uh, Liverpool Oratorio, by Paul McCartney and uh, Carl Davis. It's a two CD set from EMI Classics. <clears throat> this one, I thought it was only uh, classical music, but it's more uh, opera. I'm not a very big fan of opera and uh, I think it's two, two CD uh, for this music. It's too much, so I'm not. I, I don't think I'm gonna play it very, very often. They even came out with the uh, Oratorio selection from uh, Liverpool Oratorio. It's the same thing, but uh, only a few highlights of the same uh, CD, which I don't didn't buy. Then you got uh, Off the Ground. And I was really impressed with this one. Like I said earlier, I didn't, uh, didn't know all these songs. These songs were new to me. And then uh, after playing it a few times, I really liked this album. It's uh, one of my favorites from all the, the ones that I bought. It's not my favorite, but it's... Uh, one of them, uh, one of them, off the ground, which uh, I recommend you if you don't know. Then you got uh, Strawberry, Strawberries, Oceans, Ships, Forest. It's an album uh, in collaboration with the uh, youth. From it's from uh, the Firemen, which uh, the name that they they call themselves. It's uh, electronic music. If you like the, the kind of music, you might like it, but it's not an, a, a CD that uh, you listen very often. That's the first one that they did. Then comes another live album, Paul is Live, with that famous famous picture that he, re he redid. But I don't think he was uh, on the street. It's a, just a montage of uh, him and his dog. Another live album, if you like live albums. Then came Off the Ground, The Complete Works. This one was uh, also too expensive, even on CD. So I bought it on iTunes and I uh, really liked it because uh, it's, uh, it's the same as uh, the first CD, it's uh, this one, Off the Ground, which I like. And the rest is... Uh, different tracks, uh, some uh, live, some uh, outtakes, I think. It's a good one. Then you got, which is my favorite record of all the one that I bought recently. This one uh, it happens to be a Japanese pressing. It has the 
the Japanese uh, insert in it. And I bought this one uh, from a uh, seller in China. All these cards, and it took me. It, uh, it took uh, the the CD a month, a complete month to arrive. I, I really thought that uh, the package was missing, was somewhere, and I even uh, wrote a letter to the seller to say that I wanted to have a refund. And the next day I received it, and it was a month after he, he uh, mailed it. So I was finally happy to get it. And I really, really like it. Then comes another classical thing. Standing Stone. <clears throat> a double CD. Uh, with the London Symphony Orchestra. Good music. Uh, I think it's more uh, musical than anything else. So it's a, it's a good addition if you uh, want to have everything from McCartney's work. Then came another Fireman record, Rushes, another too expensive for me, and I bought it on iTunes. Uh, it's uh, it's good. I think it's better than the the one before that they did, but I didn't really like it. And then to uh, buy everything from his uh, official discography, I bought this one too, which is uh, White Prairie from uh, Linda McCartney. It's all uh, songs that uh, she recorded uh, during uh, Wing's career and uh, while she was with uh, McCartney before she died. And then Paul McCartney just reunited all these songs and uh, put it on a CD. So I bought it on iTunes, this one also. It's a good one. Then comes Run, Devil, Run. I think this one comes in, uh, in a little box set of 45, all the songs that he did. They put it out, I think, uh, every song is in 45s, but it's uh, really expensive, this this one too. So I bought uh, the CD, it's a uh, whole cover, all shook up. Uh, brown eyes. It's a bit like uh, the rock and roll of John Lennon LP. Then another <clears throat> classical album, but this one it's a uh, it says orchestral and chamber music by Paul McCartney. They took uh, songs from his uh, albums and the. Uh, Arranged it uh, more in a classical way. It's good stuff. Then comes Liverpool Sound Collage. This one is uh, it's very different. Uh, it's how to uh, describe. Uh, you can't hear uh, Paul McCartney on on the street. Uh, interviewing uh, people that passing by about the Beatles. You got some uh, parts of the Beatles uh, when they talk uh, during the, their recordings and mix with uh, electronic music. Uh, to describe it, sometimes it's like if you uh, listen to uh, the Beatles' uh, Revolution Number no. 9 on acid. <laughs> That's uh, about to, uh, what it sounds like. Like the other ones, if you want everything from McCartney, you have to buy it. That's what I did. Then comes uh, Wings, Wings Span, which is uh, Wings uh, Greatest Hits, two CD set, which do with the, the the normal stuff that we all know. Then the favorite album of Mean Mr. Mayo. Driving Rain. <laughs> I, I know that you don't really like it. It's not uh, an excellent album, but it's uh, it's uh, it's not too bad if you compare to uh, another one that I will talk about later. 
There was one or two socks that I like on it. Then you got another live album. Back in the US. Live 2002. Two CD set. I think it's a CD or album that came out only in the US and Japan. And then uh, they decided to uh, put it out for uh, the rest of the world and they called it <clears throat> Back in the World. It's uh, almost the same thing as the, the other one before, but they had some uh, songs that were not on the other one. And this one it says uh, Copy Controlled. And because of that, I couldn't play it on my uh, computer, which is, is where I, uh, how I uh, listen to my music on my computer. Uh, only uh, the first eight seconds were playing and then the CD was stopping. So I check on the internet and everybody or most people had the same problem with the, this re release. So what I did, I went to uh, iTunes, I bought it and I uh, burned it into CDs. So I am uh, now able to uh, play it on my uh, CD player. Not CD player, my uh, computer I mean, because I don't have any CD player. I could only play this one on my DVD player, which I don't like listening to music like that. Then comes Twin Freaks, another uh, electronic uh, mix of uh, his, uh, so his uh, songs made by another guy, which I bought it on uh, iTunes, this one also, because it was uh, too expensive. Then you got Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. Some people liked this album, but I didn't like it. I didn't think that it was uh, extraordinary. So I didn't really, really like it. Then another classical thing. Eke Cormeum. Which means, uh, behold my heart. This one was uh, too... Uh, not too classical, but too uh, opera for me. for me. So I don't intend to play it very much. If you like opera. Then comes Memory Almost Full. With a different uh, jewel case. I don't know why they did it like that. There's a little uh, thing that you can fold, but I didn't understand the point of it doing it doing it like doing it like that this is not an album that I really liked I thought it was boring uh, one song after the other I think it was always the same thing so I think I prefer uh, driving rain than this one then comes the Fireman, another Fireman, this one I have it on uh, record on, on vinyl, I bought it uh, sealed but it, it was not sealed into a, sh a shrink wrap, <clears throat> it comes on this uh, big uh, plastic envelope with a flap that you put inside, it's Paul McCartney and Youth. The Fireman, Electric Arguments. They used uh, a song for the Pure McCartney uh, CD uh, that came out uh, recently. Sing, sing, I don't remember the name of it. I think it's uh, Sing the Changes. Yeah. But they also do a song that calls uh, Highway that he, de that he, uh, he did in his live shows. And I really like this one, Highway. This one is numbered. 9948. I don't know how many they did, they did like that. <clears throat> it's a two album set and it comes with a download card so I have it on my iTunes also. Try to show you without it breaking anything. I think it's uh, McCartney that did this drawing. And on this 
record he actually sings. So it's uh, if you like uh, McCartney's music and songs, you might like it. That's him uh, drawing uh, on the wall. Nice insert. You seem to have some fun while doing these uh, these drawings. That's it for it. So it's a good album compared to the other uh, firemen. Then comes uh, a Mobius a Mobius the secret. Little EP that uh, uh, a show that live that he did in the record store that came after that uh, with only four songs, but uh, these four songs were available on uh, this one, so I bought only this one. I didn't buy. I could uh, buy it on vinyl, but I I decided to uh, not do it. Then comes <clears throat> this one. Good evening, New York City. I bought it sealed, like you can say, with a hype sticker. I just opened it like that. I bought it uh, from a private uh, seller on eBay. Sealed. It's a two CD and one DVD set. The problem is that uh, the DVD is missing. So this is a, a good example when uh, you keep your uh, stuff sealed. You don't know what you, what you're gonna happen. What you're gonna get, I mean. <clears throat> it was not his fault because the CD was sealed and it was not home homemade sealed. It was really factory sealed. But the DVD is missing. So uh, I couldn't complain. So I bought it uh, uh, online again from another seller. But this time I bought it used because I wanted to be I wanted to be sure that the DVD would be uh, in the box set. And uh, I'm still waiting for it because I didn't receive it yet. So uh, by the time I received it, I went to uh, iTunes and I bought the show on iTunes to uh, be able to watch it. It's a really, really good show. It's a good live album. And he plays uh, High Away from the Fireman in this show. And it's a really good show. So I really recommend it. It's uh, two CD and one DVD if you can't get the DVD. Then comes this one, like I said, Paul McCartney live in Los Angeles, the Grammy nominated MOBA show. This CD comes, uh, w was uh, in a newspaper, it's, uh, it was a free CD that comes with a newspaper, but now the people are selling it. This is uh, how I uh, had to uh, buy it. It's a little uh, live show that he did in the record store, it's a good one. Then you got another classical thing. This one, it's uh, Paul McCartney's Ocean Kingdom. Uh, it says here, uh, debut orchestral score for dance performed by the London Classical Orchestra. One in uh, 180 gram on your full vinyl edition plus digital download. He created some music for a dance company. This one I liked it because it's uh, it's only music, it's only uh, classical music. Me, I, I really like reading, and when I read, I like to play music, and I that's what that's what I did when I was listening listening to this uh, LP. It it's really uh, relaxing. It's a two uh, LP set.
one movement for every side of it. So with uh, the download card I could uh, put it in my iTunes also. Then comes Kisses on the Bottom, which is uh, not classical music, but uh, standards, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Standard songs, old songs, in a jazzy way, I could say. But more of the songs were uh, slow songs, soft songs. A bit like uh, what Rod Stewart did lately. This one I didn't really like it because it's always uh, one song after the, the other. It's always the same rhythm, it's always the same mood, the same kind of songs. It's like if you listen to the same song for 50 minutes. That opens like that. With the download card also. Not a good one for me. Then I bought uh, the next one. Kisses on the bottom, com complete kisses because it has uh, this one in it, the live performance that he did from the Capitol Studios. So instead of buying this one, I bought this one with two of them. Then comes this uh, reissues of an album that I already had, which I didn't buy. Then I got this one, the new album. Beautiful. I really don't like the way they did the lyrics. Look at it. It's all packed in the same spot. It's hard to follow if you want to read the lyrics. Beautiful. Has a booklet in it. Some photos during the recordings. Look how the how is uh, packed. These musicians. Bunch of warriors, headphones. I always wondered if he's, if, if he's wearing a wig or what. It looks like that. <laughs> Tell me if you know. That's the album new, and then the last I think that came came out, 1985, uh, 12 inch of his song plus remixes from Timo Mas and James Tige. I like the original, but uh, the mixes that they did was not uh, very extraordinary and then uh, on iTunes another one came out after this one it's the same cover but it's a uh, purple instead of green with different mixes than this one but I don't think it worth buying it buying it so I didn't buy so this is it there was a bunch for uh, maybe a month and a half or two months I have been uh, buying his uh, stuff all this time, but now I'm complete and I'm up to date. So uh, this is uh, my uh, Paul McCartney update video. I hope you liked it. It's a nice Sunday afternoon.
I hope everybody is doing fine. So thanks for watching. Bye.